Okay, let's talk about something that just about every tech wishes they didn't have to do, mixing stage monitors. Okay, so maybe not every tech, but it's one of those things that is required in just about every stage setup and can often become a trouble spot. Large or small, the need for stage monitors, also referred to as wedges, is there. The function of these is to allow the performing artist or speaker to hear themselves clearly, as well as any accompanying musicians or playback music. They're essential to the performer being able to do their job. The purpose of the stage monitor is not always to deliver an even balanced mix, as its purpose is to highlight the parts necessary for the artist to perform. Quite often, the monitor mix will be heavy on things like vocals and key lead instruments, and not as balanced as our main PA mix. There are some obvious implications to how this will affect our overall sound, as we are often pushing more sound pressure into a venue, and sometimes this can compete with our front of house mix. There are two main scenarios we will see when stage monitors are involved in reference to where the signal will be controlled from. The first and simplest application the monitors are fed from the same console as the main PA, using auxiliaries. Let's look at the impact this can have and what we should be aware of. When using the same console to mix front of house as well as provide stage monitors, the input channel gain affects both outputs, so any changes made after sound check will then change monitor levels. As well, quite often the aux feed comes after the EQ in the signal chain. This means that when we are adjusting the sound of an input for our front of house mix, it is also adjusting the sound fed to the monitors. Not always a bad thing, but sometimes what the artist needs to hear on stage differs from what we are hearing in the main PA. The second scenario to consider is when a second mixer is introduced. The input signals are split and fed discreetly to the front of house mixer and the dedicated monitor mixer. This allows us greater flexibility in the sound we can deliver to the monitors as well as for front of house. One of the key elements in mixing monitors successfully is maintaining clear communication with the artists on stage. Obviously, we want to get the mix right for them as early as possible. However, when changes are needed, it's important that we acknowledge and act as quickly as possible. If there are complications that inhibit the desired changes, providing explanation as to why and that you're working on the changes is a very important first step. Basic steps such as asking questions to determine if they need more level or simply to add clarity to the sound they are hearing, adjusting monitor positions in relation to the listener, can be simple steps to keep the ever-increasing stage volume in check. Starting your monitor check with the PA at show volume and levels you are happy with will help you get lower volumes on stage as well. With the main PA up, the artist will have a greater sense of hearing themselves and the monitors will work with the PA in adding clarity as opposed to working against it. EQing your monitors to work with the main PA as well sonically is a big advantage to getting a great monitor mix for the artist, as well as leaving you with a room not overtaken by a loud stage.